Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today on Habitat Hints, we're going to talk about when stocking your pond, when is the right time to stock grass carp, and why you should gra stock grass carp, and so forth. There's a lot of myths and misconceptions out there about when and why, so I actually have MDC's uh, Andrew Branson here with us, and he's going to tell us when's the best time and why you should stock them, and and so forth. So let me flip this around and we'll talk with Andrew about stocking grass carp for your local pond. Hey there, Andrew, how are things today? Hey, Lucas, everything's good. Good, good. So we're at a pond. We're gonna be talking about when should you stock grass carp? I know we've talked about it in another series that, hey, it's not the best thing to stock for certain algae, but when is the best time? If someone at a, a, you know have a pond, has a pond out on their, their land and they're wanting to stock some grass carp, why would they do that and when would be the time to do that? Right. Yeah, most, most pond owners are aware of that grass carp eat aquatic plants. And aquatic plants, certain types especially, can be really become a nuisance in ponds. So that's when people usually are thinking, I need to get something in here to help control these plants. Um, other times, people might want to put grass carp in when they have first built a mm -hmm. pond, before there's even a problem with plants, they think I'm gonna, I'm gonna head this off and put grass carp in there to help control it. And in both of those situations, um, we really don't recommend putting grass carp in. Um, uh, we basically just do it as a last resort because yeah. grass carp, they will eat lots of aquatic plants, but they'll eat the good plants and the bad plants. So they may eat the plants that you're having a problem with, but then they can go around and eat all the beneficial plants. And then, then you have another problem where now I can't keep aquatic plants in my pond, which makes for a healthy pond, but so yeah, there's there's do's and don'ts with grass carp. So I see some of this, a little bit of algae. I mean, I know a lot of people think, hey, this algae stuff you have there in your hand, Andrew, if I put a grass carp in there, they'll make sure to clean off my pond and make it look all crisp and clear. Yeah. Is that is that a false statement? Yeah, it's there's a little bit of uh, confusion there. Again, people, they see they've got a lot of algae and they think grass carp eat plants and stuff problems with ponds, so I need to put some grass carp. Young grass carp may eat a little bit of that algae, but they quickly turn and move to more leafy type, more weedy type aquatic plants. So because of that, yeah, grass carp are definitely not an effective control for algae. There's other ways to kind of treat algae. Okay. When you would want to, yeah, when you'd want to put grass carp in is if you have more of a, a, a weed type problem in your pond. Um, but again, uh, you only want to put those grass carp in at the right numbers. You don't want to put too many in. There's recommended numbers for the size of your pond uh, because again, grass carp are very efficient and they can actually clean it out. Um, that's why it's best to kind of research that, know the size of your pond, how much nuisance plant coverage you're having a problem with, and that'll help determine how many grass carp to put in. So almost basically, Andrew, you're saying grass carp would be one of your last resorts options to help right. clean up the, yep. the uh, plant issue around your pond, correct? Yeah, uh, and again, on our website, we've got all sorts of great information on aquatic plants, specific aquatic plants that you might be dealing with and how to control them. And grass carp is just one of the ways that you can control them. Um, and we usually recommend check out some of these other ways first. Um, if those don't seem practical or they haven't worked, then maybe you know factor in some grass carp. Uh, but again, make sure you do it at the right numbers, and and probably wouldn't be a bad idea to talk to the local fisheries management biologist for your county to get their recommendations. All right, and you can find all that information again online. That's right. Yeah, our website. It's it's real easy. Just go to the Missouri Department of Conservation's website, type in grass carp, or you know uh, aquatic plant control, weed control, and you'll kind of start figuring it out. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Andrew, and thank you all for tuning in today. And again, um, echo what he said, you can get on our website at mdc.mo.gov to find out more information about when you should stock grass carp, if you should stock grass carp, and all kinds of other questions dealing with your pond. Thank you and have a great and wonderful day.